Cold termination has become more difficult nowadays for several reasons. Hypermedia Systems offers different add-ons tools that, when combined, will help to prolong the life of the SIM cards. In our last video, we saw the HyperGuard add-on composed of BCG and EMS Plus. In case you haven't seen that, I invite you to see the HyperGuard video. Today, we will focus on our recent add-on called HyperSIM. After extensive research and testing, we finally have a solution. HyperSync, which is a software installed in the HyperMedia Gateway that can help to extend the SIM card's life expectancy and therefore increase your net income. Since it is a software solution installed onto the Gateway itself, there is no need to use additional servers in order to run HyperSync. For this traffic termination scenario, we have a HyperMedia Gateway with 32 GSM channels, which receives incoming SIP traffic. And on the other side, we have the SIM cards allocated inside the HyperMedia Gateway. So on this part, it is possible to host a total of 128 SIM cards or 320 SIM cards depending on the HyperMedia Gateway model. So in daily incoming void traffic, we can get good calls, but also bad calls or robot numbers, all mixed together. The problem begins when all these type of calls are being dialed out of our gateway, causing the SIM cards to be blocked. The client sends you the traffic may have a least cost royalty configuration for his clients on his switch, making it very difficult to know from which of them this bad traffic or robot numbers comes from. So HyperSIM creates a strong layer of protection, comprised of three elements to help the SIM cards to last longer. Those three elements are dynamic blacklist, channel binding, and maximum concurrent void calls. So let's examine each of them. Dynamic blacklist receives and stores all incoming SIP traffic in a database, then searches and monitors each number based on the ASR and ACD HyperSIM threshold settings from the source number and destination number. Thus, when an incoming number is below the pre-configured threshold, the HyperSIM will store it in the dynamic blacklist, allowing only good calls to be dialed. It is called dynamic because it analyzes the incoming traffic as it reaches the gateway. It is important to know that the longer the traffic has been analyzed, the greater the effectiveness of the dynamic blacklist will be. Furthermore, whenever you want to check a specific source or destination number, you can search for it on the database, either blacklist or whitelist. The second element is channel binding. GSM operators monitor the amount of new dial numbers every day on each SIM card. In call termination, it is very common to have the same destination number dialed from several or even all the GSM ports, since gateways by default have a cycling distribution of the traffic over the GSM channels. Network operators can determine that at a certain range of SIM cards is usually calling the same number and SIM cards will start getting blocked, since those numbers are dialed out of all your SIM cards. So normal behavior is to dial the same usual numbers from the phone's address book in order to simulate this human calling behavior. So channel binding will start saving every incoming call, either a complete call or just a dialed call in a database and will create a virtual address book for each GSM module. Creating an address book for each GSM module means that whenever a call is complete or even just dialed, for the first time on a GSM model, it will be bound to that model. So whenever this number is dialed, the HyperMedia Gateway will attempt to always use the same model for it. Also, all address book binding information will be stored in an address book database, letting you search any bind number either to a specific GSM model or a specific SIM card. HyperSIM database can give information from which Voip channel a specific number comes from and from which model and SIM is going out. 
and also has optional, channel binding configuration will allow you to bind more than one module to the same address book. So allowing the maximum amount of incoming concurrent web calls to the gateway will prevent channel binding from working efficiently. Since for the same number to go out the same model, that model needs to be free. That will never happen if the gateway is always handling the maximum possible number of calls. So here is when the third element will ensure just that. Maximum concurrent VoIP calls would limit the amount of incoming calls as not to overload the gateway and will prolong the life expectancy of the SIM cards. So saying that maximum concurrent VoIP calls will complement channel binding by limiting incoming boy traffic and enabling channel binding to work properly. Thanks for watching HyperSIM introduction video. If you want to see the HyperSIM gateway configuration, you are invited to click on the next video.